Hey guys, this is Brandon again. Um, I was just thinking about something silly. It's just, it's my hair. I love my hair. Like, my whole life I've loved having shaggy golden hair. Um, and people keep bugging me about haircuts. And I really don't want to get a haircut. I'm, I'm just going to say straight up. I don't want to get a haircut. You know, and while I was thinking about that, one of the things that came to mind was Samson. Uh, one of the things Samson did, if you don't know, is that he was famous for his long hair. Samson was a Nazarite, which meant that he had been set aside for the Lord since the day he was born. <coughs> Excuse me. And one of the things he did, as a, as a Nazarite, one of the things God told his parents to do is never to cut his hair. Ever. And so that's one of the things Samson did, is that he, his hair grew long from the day he was born. They never ever gave him a haircut he never shaved his face never shaved his hair They're like there was hair grown on his body all of his life and that was a sign of how he was set aside for the lord as a nazarite and so i guess I, this is the thought i was having is like you know what are you doing to show or to act on being set aside for the lord is that all of us as Christians have been redeemed by Christ. We're growing daily closer to Him. But is there anything that shows for it? Are you spiritually producing fruit in yourself and in others? Or maybe it is something physical. You know, maybe you got a tattoo, or you're growing your hair out, or something cool like that. Maybe even a t shirt that kind of shows off like, hey, I'm a Christian. I, I set myself to a higher standard. Doesn't mean I'm better than you. Doesn't mean I'm better than you. It means that I'm saved by Jesus because I'm not good enough. You know, so I, I want you guys to think about that as you go out your day, your week, and do those kind of things. Remember that you're set aside for the Lord. You know, and what is there to show for that? Are you producing fruit in others? Is the Holy Spirit truly moving you? Are you allowing God to do great things in you and through you for his kingdom? And so think about that. Just for today, just for the week, whatever is on your mind, that you are set apart for the Lord. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, I love you guys. I'm praying for you. Talk to you later.